Hey everybody, I'm Emmy and Theo is going to give me a new cut and color and I'm going to turn so you can see what I currently have. I've also put some pink in and stuff so yeah. I've been playing around with it a bit so it's time for a new haircut. Okay, thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube, Emmy's back to have a new hairstyle. Now we're getting into springtime so I'm going to think about the spring color and a beautiful new hairstyle. For her, it's long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I start with protection like I always do. Joost even uh, cut this a bit a while uh -huh. ago. Because it was so long. Okay. I find it okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when people do their own hair. <laughs> just do it. It's just hair, it grows back. <laughs> that is true. That is actually the reason why I remember when I had very long hair, hair and I think I was about around 12, 12 years old. Uh -huh. And I had hair until I think somewhere mid back, a bit, uh -huh. a bit longer. And then I remember that I wanted to uh, cut it. And of course I was a bit excited about it. And I was like, am I going to like it or not? And then um, I think it's you or my mom, they said like, well, it's hair, it'll grow back if you don't like it. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah. It's almost the same, me as a good mom. <laughs> yeah, Some, I don't know who, somebody <laughs> said it. But it is how I dared to cut it for the first time. Best decision ever. Yeah, that it is. Okay, now, the last time I did the undercut on this side, that we are growing back. So the only thing I do here is Take the hairs aside, bend the upper hairs, let you in on the cut, take the hairs down and correct the line. Just that, not more than that. Correct it in the line like the asymmetrical line is. From the asymmetrical hair, because I, I really find her asymmetrical hairstyles beautiful. I'm gonna work in the same line, so I take the hairs up in the same line, bend them up again. And I'm coming to watch where I go. So show, let you show with me. Set on the first line. I'm going kind to of, kind of get a lot higher up. Because I want good hair. You can hear it. It's good hair. You can hear it. The scissors are working on the hairs. Not go too deep in. Because otherwise I get a line into the hairs. Don't want that. But cut this in the natural folds. The orange part is a rest over of a black of two times ago. Yeah. So you see how wonderful kitten products, especially the black, because it's, it stays black. Yeah. No blonde hair. And it will certainly be back sometime in the winter. Yeah, I quite liked it actually. Yeah, Never it's beautiful, about it. strong. Gives you a strong hairstyle. But maybe we will make uh, one time a, a Gorilla de Ville like. <laughs> the short part black, the longer part white. Who knows? Because it has to grow out and that, that's yeah. hard to do. Cut all the lines on this line. Don't force anything. Gently coming. Gently go in. Lift my scissor a little bit in the angle. This is my baseline. The baseline I take to the back. Again, don't force anything, just gently take it up. Hold my fingers in the same line and correct the line. So in this way, by taking it to the back, I get a graduation into the line. So it softens the line. Lekker aan de klokken. Ja. Ik heb er denk aan oma. Ja, dat bij mij ook. So I have this part cut like this. So now I take this aside, because I can see where my line is laying, and I make this short. Lay the hairs to the side, watch at the line, bind part of my comb, go in. And here she has 
really strong hair. She has fine hair but strong. I like to do this with a comb and not with a clipper comb because now I can guide the hairs into the comb and into the clipper. So it gets much nicer, softer lines. Don't force on the skin. Force. I want to bleach the hairs to get in the lightest color I can get. Put my blade to the back and comb the line softly. Come at the rounding, lift the hairs up, pushing with my comb in the opposite line. A little bit of making time. You can't see the face, you can't see the face. No, that's right. You have to look at the film. But this stuff is really helpful, but I said that. Go back to the fine part of my comb. Use my comb as a clipper comb, but then the way I like to guide the hair is into the clipper. Lekker als de drappers. Ja, als dit zo lekker. So now I only have to do this side. So I have a line, so you can see the line. The line can travel up to there. So I hold a little bit length on the fall of the skull. First part, this row of comb, and then go in with the clipper again. I told you, I go in like there. There is my point where I like to go to. So I travel gently on the fall of the skull. Holding the length, lifting up. What you can see with my scissor. And for those who think I have a tattoo, it's a sticker. I never take a tattoo. Too old for that. It's a temporary tattoo. Yeah. I mean, once also a tattoo. I. Yeah, a rose or something. A rose, a temporary tattoo. Yeah, yeah, of course. I had bugs, they were wonderful. I still want Temporary tattoos, I hope. Yeah, yeah okay. as a bug. <laughs> That's wonderful, they are beautiful. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah they were from the grocery all the time. Yeah. That's a couple of years ago, though. Yeah. So now you see I have my baseline, so now I can work this out with the clipper. Go back to the fine part of my comb, lifting up. En Maier heeft ook al een film gemaakt, hè? Als kapper? Ja. Hé, hey, wat leuk! Ja, dat is wel dadelijk met z'n drieën. En Jim krijgt een heel eigen idee. Jim knipt heel leuke kinderen. Ja. Uh, by the way, we talk Dutch in the meantime. To each other. Uh, Jim gaat kinderen knippen. Uh, ik heb nu vijf kinderen die hij knipt. Ja. Jonge kinderen. Hij is daar zo goed in. We gaan niet vertalen, we gaan het gewoon laten wat het is. Ja. Het is alleen maar kijken naar hoe hij kinderen knipt. Ja, en ik kan me voorstellen dat Jim heeft een bepaalde rust waar die kinderen heel goed op gaan. Die, dat is echt ja. geweldig. Ja. En dan gaan we gewoon in de zaak doen. Leuk. Mayra gaat voor de rockfilm in de zaak. En bij Mayra uh, ga ik geen uh, voice-over doen, ja. maar een voice-in. Terwijl en... zij werkt, ga ja. ik het inspreken wat zij doet. Want zij wil heel graag wel tutorial-achtig bezig zijn. Ja. Maar dan kan ze zelf niet al die vaardigheden. Ja. Dus dan ga ik de voice in doen. En uh, is het iets wat, uh, wat voor soort capsules gaat Maya gaan doen? Of wat Vooral gaat heren. Heren. Put my blade to the back. Die stik erbij gaan, heb ik steeds meer te zien. Put it in a coming position. Come gently up. Don't force on the skin. I told you, I have to still have to bleach the hairs. So I don't want damage on the skin. Gently go in. The deeper I come in the underlines, the flatter I hold my clipper. 
Take my blade to the back. Do the same in a coming position. Put it back again, leaning on the skin. Make a nice turn around the ears. And Emmy has beautiful ears. I have an ear fetish, so uh, I really love ears. Find them always unique. Yeah, they are, and they also keep on growing and changing. Yeah. It's quite interesting. They are. Hope they don't stay my way like they are now. Mm. Don't like big ears for myself, I'm not an elephant. <laughs> So now I've done my blaze line, so now I go to my small clipper and clean the contour. Don't lean on the skin, softly. You see how nice clean it looks on Emmy. Finally, clean. Yeah, clean. She comes from Rotterdam, they are not clean. <laughs> I think Rotterdam is one of the nicest cities of the Netherlands. Like, if you like to go to modern cities, Rotterdam yeah. is the nicest. Yeah, I also really, really like it. And it's the most important city of the Netherlands. Yeah. Not for tourists, but for all the things we do in the Netherlands. Hoe heet dat? O-team? Ja. O-team. Schotterdam. Ik heb het niet met Rotterdams buiten gewassen, dus ik heb geen O-team in gedaan. Nee. So, so you can watch with me. Lay the hairs over the roundings of a beautiful skull. Use all the roundings. And lay it nicely. So they fall really, really natural. And I go once over the line because there are still hairs from the other side laying on this side. Well, then I go on the top, hairs high up, go to the center, get rid of the dry end. And this gives a softness on the line on the sides. Because when you take off length on this length, the sides will be a little bit thinner. Not much. But I have to get rid of the dry ends. When I make her bleach, I make her bleach on 6%, that's 20 volume, with a deep conditioner of glint in it, because I don't want to damage the hairs. It's quite nice. The other day, some friends of mine were complaining about the amount of grey hairs they had. And I was like, well, I wouldn't even know if I have grey hairs, because they was always bleaching it, but my hair always feels and looks so healthy, yeah. even though it's bleached all the time. And that's so, for a long time because we bleach our hair for a long time. Such a long time. I think the first time we did it, I was around maybe 15 years old. Yeah, 14. something like that. So, yeah. You're still wearing your pampas? No, <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> that would be yeah, something. Yeah, Dale, I was still wearing diapers when yeah. I was 14 years old. Sure. <laughs> uh huh. Shit in your pants when you go to the hairdressers. <laughs> then I wouldn't be here now. No. <laughs> Abel is kind of doing that. He had to go. He had a haircut at daycare. Oh, no, you have very... to go at gyms. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. I didn't know the gym is cutting children. So oh, we can that also time. do next time. Yeah, yeah that would be cool. Now I lay the hairs. Again, into the natural roundings, and I have, of course, I have a slight problem with the hairs because there are always some hairs that like to go to the left and the right. So watch where the hairs fall. It's not much, but I like it this way because when she's going to swim, not this parts stick out. So I lay this in the natural fall. Do hardly anything on it. In this way, I won't get an antenna. Mm -hmm. Point. Yeah. 
So, for so far, the cut. So then I can make her a collar. That's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> I made the bleach 6%, 20 volume. Put a violet in it. Just to reduce the yellow tones. It's a bleach of uh, lint. It's a violet bleach. And Glint is a brand that's beautiful for her. Makes wonderful products. Make no commercials. They don't need that. And it's the number one product of Germany. Is it in uh, Germany number one product at uh, hairdressers? By hairdressers, yeah, yeah. the best. Product yeah. on the market. So they don't sell it in normal drugstores? No, 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 no. So I apply all the product on my hair. Okay. Going to the last product to apply. Take a garter wig, peel it apart, clean the skin a bit. This I just put on the skin to reduce the heat of the plastic foil because plastic foil can heat up the product. There's no ammonia coming from this uh, bleach, so don't smell anything. Like a bit on top, so I have more uh, place to get the heat free of the skin. Take out my cloths. Take out the clip. Close my plastic foil. Gonna check this in uh, about 20 minutes, mostly around that time she is platinum blonde. Uh, tell me afterwards how long it took. Then we go for what color Emmy will have. Ooh, and I don't know yet. No. Do you already know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if you like it. <laughs> Stay focused. Back from coloring, after 25 minutes, rinse it out. Put the no yellow shampoo and conditioner over it. First have to dry it and then color it in. Ga je het zo laten? Ja. Nee. <laughs> nee. <laughs> ja, het kan nog mooier. Oh nee, dat ik het zo wil. Het is... Als jij dat wil, dan wil ik dat ook. Nee, Als jij iets anders wil. Dan had ik het veel vet op violet gemaakt. Dat was toen ook heel mooi. Ik heb die ja. hele mooie violette gemaakt. Dat stond ook heel prachtig. Ik vond het ook heel mooi toen, ik, uh, toen wij gingen trouwen. Toen had ik dat knalroze haar. Mm -hmm. En toen hadden we het geblondeerd en toen zaten we nog van die licht roze beetje in. Mm -hmm. Dat was zo mooi. Ja, die roze heb ik ook nog. Doe maar wat je in gedachten hebt. Nou, mij maakt het niet zo heel veel uit. Zo, dit is de hair dry. So now I didn't put anything on it, just a, a silver shampoo or conditioner. And you still can see the rest over of the blacks, but that's just two times. Bleaching, but only with 6%, so you cannot get it out of the hair. Then you have to part it and just take 9% or more. Then I don't want to damage the hair. Now the hair feels really, really sexy and good. I'm going to use this a product of uh, Goldwell. And I'm going to use this color on M. Fedori. It's a cock. Yeah, Fedori, no doubt. Apply this on the hairs. And have to use enough. Ik vind het ook altijd een klein beetje als je hem erop zet net een lichte te kwaad lijken. Ja, hij is nu wel erg heftig groen. Ja, maar dit is hij niet. Ja, maar net als met die andere. Ja, dit dus... is ook altijd zo heel donker. Ja, en dan valt het erbij. Een paar is blauw op en dan uiteindelijk dan, uh, uit een feut is die uh, heel zacht. Ja. Heel zacht op. Ik kan mooi hoe dat werkt. Nou, de color is al naar her. Ik maak dit turn. Oh, turn it that way. So left the andere parts out. Take the carton wick around the color. I don't want it on the plant hair. So pull this. From each other, making sure it stays on top. Close this, 
give it the heat for 15 minutes, then lock it, and then we're back for end styling. And not that a bit asymmetrical. <laughs> And products uh, of Goldwell, you don't have to use the developer, they are straight from the bottle onto the head. Okay, back from coloring, after 15 minutes rinse it out, locked it. So now I take uh, a zero weight gel of Lanza, spread it over my hands, apply it on the hairs. And the wonderful thing of this product is it smells really nice. And it's a good product. Take my Olivia garden brush. Brush the product through the hairs. And come blow dry it again with a brush. The longer side. Okay, just see how moist afterwards. So far blow drying. <laughs> of attitude, I take a powder product just to apply this between the hairs. So it gives a lot of volume. I really like this product because it's crazy. Because Emmy has fine hair, but then you create a lot of hair. <laughs> Is it like dry shampoo, but then styling? Yeah. Cool. Angel dust. Aha. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Yeah, we, we in the Netherlands, you can sing very well. It's funny because the product doesn't weigh yet. It's like it no, feels it's like it's empty, but I probably there's still a lot in there. But there's it's totally filled. <laughs> there's no weight. No. Yeah. Bit brush out hair spray of Lanza. The nice thing of this hairspray is you can play with the hairs as long as you like. But I really like to finish it also with the hairspray of Lanza because then the shine comes back to the hairs. Take a normal hairspray of Lanza. This brings back the shine to the hairs. And this is the new hairstyle and color for Emmy. I thank you for watching. I thank Emmy for being my model. And I thank Theo for my nice new haircut. Being the hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> we suit to very well together. Yeah. My color matches your yeah, shirt yeah, yeah. somehow. I'm just <laughs> <Somehow>. Aquaman. <laughs> I'm Aquarius, so Aquaman, I get Aquaman. aqua colors. <laughs> Emmy turns around yes. to show you the end result. And we see each other next video. Bye bye. There we go. You can see my aqua volume haircut. Yeah. Thank Look. you, Teo. Turn so you can see what I currently have. I've also put some pink in and stuff, so yeah. I've been playing around with it a bit. So it's time for a new haircut. Okay.